So Bill Maher, real quick, I always put the caveat up top when I talk about Bill Maher. I like Bill Maher. Bill Maher, especially when I was more, say, on the liberal side of things or on the left side of things, was probably the biggest influence that I had as a TV personality, as a liberal, in terms of the ideas I cared about, in terms of who I agreed with. He has probably 20 HBO specials. I'd say 15 of them are phenomenal, and probably five of them are in the top 10 of HBO specials of all time. Uh, but Bill Maher has not gotten to the end of the road of where liberalism has led, and he's struggling with that, I think, and when I've done these videos, my hope is that I can encourage him to see the end of the road, and I know his producers watch this show, and uh, supposedly I'm gonna be on Bill Maher's podcast, which is launching this week. I'm supposed to be on in the next couple weeks or something. I'd be happy to have this conversation on his show, uh, which apparently is gonna be like a two-hour uh, long-form podcast, or we can, do it, uh, we can do it there, we can do it here, whatever it is. Anyway, so Bill Maher went on Ben Shapiro's show, talking about what has happened to the left, what has happened to the progressives and the woke who have sort of destroyed liberalism. And I think most of you are probably gonna agree with everything he said here, but you'll see the transition from what we just talked about. Um, but when you say woke, you know, it's become, and I make fun of it too, because it's become an eye roll in many ways. If woke, I assume at a certain moment, and it wasn't that long ago, before we didn't have the term. I only heard it, I don't know, what, it was three, four years ago? Five years ago at most when we heard the term woke and it was like alert to injustice. I'm like, okay, I'm down with that. I always have been. I hope people still understand that about me. But yes, it became sort of a byword for a lot of this goofy stuff. That's what I'm always railing against. That's why, like, they play me on Fox News now. Yeah, I mean, how do you feel about that? Because you went from well, the guy who was... <laughs> I, I, I feel... Look, I'm, I haven't changed at all. My politics hasn't changed. They've changed. People say to me sometimes, you know, have you changed? No. It's, it's that five years ago, no one was talking about defunding the police. I never heard that phrase five years ago. That's not me changing. That's things changing. I'm reacting to it, as I've always been. Um, you know, letting three-year-olds decide what gender they are. This wasn't something five years ago. Free speech, you know, used to be a, a left-wing thing that we were proud and owned, and now that seems to be under attack. So again, I'm, I think I've stayed the same. Okay, as I said, most of you who watch this show who are, let's say, conservatives or libertarians or disaffected liberals, whatever it is, you probably just watched the guy who was the, the thought leader of American liberalism, at least from an entertainment perspective or from a cultural perspective, you probably just watched that minute long clip and agreed with everything he said there. These people have gone bananas. The left used to defend free speech. The ACLU was a, was a free speech organization thought of as sort of lefty liberal. And now what I want to do, and I'm talking to you, Bill, and I'm talking to your producers, who again, I know watch this show, when Bill says, I haven't changed, it's them who have changed. And he's talking about wokeness and he's talking about the gender stuff and he's talking about free speech and critical race theory and all of those things. It's like, you're right, you haven't changed, but the liberals have. There are virtually no liberals other than you and, and three or four other people um, who seem to not understand the way everything has shifted. So if you accept that everything has shifted, but you still endorse and vote for people who usher this stuff in, then you're just not making the final connection, right? You're not making the final jump that would take you to, from being someone who complains about things to someone who actually stops the things from happening in the first place. Bill Maher gave Barack Obama a million dollars. Obama helped usher in a lot of this woke stuff. Um, now again, this isn't, this isn't really a criticism as much as like an encouragement that I want these people to finally get it at the end. Uh, Bill said that, you know, that a lot of this stuff wasn't happening until three years ago, and then he said maybe five years ago. I want to show you a clip, and I know many of you have seen this, and I, I wrote about this in Don't Burn This book. This was one of my wake-up moments. I was on the left. I was still on the Young Turks Network. I was a progressive and a Bernie supporter, and I was having all of these thoughts about what the left was, ha what, 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 what was happening on the left, meaning they were calling everybody racist and bigot, and they were silencing people and shouting speakers down at colleges and everything else. And now I want to show you this clip from 2015. This is the famous Sam Harris and Bill Maher versus Ben Affleck on real time. 
And when you see the sort of hysteria from Ben Affleck, it's like there were signs that this woke, crazy, angry thing was on its way and it was actually happening right in your studio, Bill. You're yeah. saying if I criticize that, you're saying that Islamophobia is not a real thing. That if you're critical of something... It... Well, it's not a real thing when we do it. Right. <laughs> well, well, no, it no, really no. isn't. I, I'm not denying not... That, that certain people are bigoted against Muslims as people. That, right. And that's a that's problem. Big of you. But the... But why are you so hostile to, about this? It's, it's gross. It's racist. It's, it's not. It's but it's so not. It's so. It's like saying it's those so you're shifty Jew. You're not listening Absolutely to not. what well, we are saying. You guys are saying if you want to be liberals, believe in liberal principles right. like freedom of speech, like right. um, you know we are endowed by our uh, forefathers with an inalienable life, like all men are created no. equal. No, Ben, we have to be able to criticize bad ideas. And of course we do. Islam, no liberal doesn't okay, want to okay. criticize bad ideas. But Islam but at why this moment is the mother load of bad ideas. Jesus. So we have we have ideas like blasphemy. No. It is it's a, an ugly apostasy. It is one basic liberal well, well, let me unpack it. tolerance. Let me, yeah, let, exactly. let me unpack it. But not it for bit. intolerance. No, of course it's not. Good bill right at the end, right? Tolerance, but not for intolerance. Uh, that clip, which I know probably everyone watching this has seen, and it's been seen probably 50 million times on YouTube and other platforms. That was a wake up to people all over the world. I, when I started talking about that clip and I did a breakdown of that clip of every moment, of that clip on my channel from years ago when I had like 20,000 subscribers or something like that. I was getting email from people all over the world, India, Egypt, Argentina, saying, holy cow, the thing that I've been thinking about the left, it, the perfect example of it is Ben Affleck. They're calling them gross and racist. The clip goes on and on. You've all, you've all seen it. So, so there have been warning signs that something was happening, that the good liberals were on the defense, right? There's, there's, Bill Maher, there's Sam Harris, the sort of good non-woke liberals that were trying to use logic and reason were dealing with people that were not using logic and reason, say Ben Affleck. That anger that Ben Affleck had and that over the top, I'm right, you're wrong, you're racist, that has leaked out everywhere into society. It started online, it made its way into some of these television shows, and now it's everywhere. It's all over college campuses and the intolerance of the left and cancel culture, all of these things this is the end result. It's what we've got on our streets right now.